Hello YouTube. Today is launch day for a new yield max stock and the ticker is ULTY. So normally I try to be patient and you know track the fund for a month or two or six months uh, but I didn't do that today and I went against Warren Buffett's advice and you could see his advice one of his you know many smart things that he has said is that the stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient so I always try to be the one who is patient because I want to receive the money right I don't want to transfer it to somebody else so six days ago I tried to be patient on this stock here which was MSTY and basically I feel like the the stock has left the tr uh, train station without me and uh, in just six days of trading this stock has increased in value five dollars and 44 cents a share so if I would have bought a hundred shares I could have made five hundred dollars in six days which is uh, tremendous money now this might be a rare situation but we are also in a rare market. So I applied my old school rules um, of, you know, try to be patient. And I missed out on what I believe is an opportunity. This stock, MSTY, tracks this stock, MSTR, which is extremely volatile and um, has, uh, you, this is the five day chart. And you can see that it has just taken the staircase up and has, you know, seen from, phenomenal gains and it has drug the uh, MSTY yield max fund up along with it so today when ULTY launched I said I'm gonna jump in so I did and I'll show you what happened maybe I should have been a little more patient because when I purchased I per first I bought 35 shares and you can see here from uh, my buy order, I got 35 shares at $19.92. Immediately, the stock started to slide, and I decided to buy another 10 to bring down my average share cost, even just a little bit, uh, at $19.83. But it, it continued to slide, and it, just 45 minutes later, it was down to $19.41. So uh, I said, okay, I'll buy another 10. And uh, they call this dollar cost averaging into weakness. And, you know, basically it brings down my average share price. So I went from an average, I went from $19.92. And now I am at $19.81 for an average share price. And I'm going to hold up here at 55 shares. And you can see that the current price is $19.42. So let me show you why I did this. This ULTY is different than the other funds because they actually went out and purchased, um, you know, stocks and they hold these stocks and they're writing options called covered calls. Whereas the other funds, they just... Um, you know, they uh, buy and sell puts and calls and they have a synthetic position. They don't actually own the stock. And I can explain that. Actually, I did talk about that in my uh, recent video about Coney, C-O-N-Y. And I'll link it at the end and you hopefully you'll watch that video. Explains how they normally operate. This is not how they normally operate. They went out and bought stock. Example, C3AI. They purchased 2,900 shares, and now they're writing 29 option contracts, covered call option contracts against that holding. Each contract is 100 shares. So basically, they put all of these shares into covered call contracts, and they're going to try to earn a commission with this gamble because, you know, options is always a gamble. So it could lose money. It could win money. But because this stock, they had recently had earnings and it's in an upward trajectory, it's a pretty good bet and it's also very volatile. And the more volatile the stock is, the higher the commission will be. Just to continue on, they also bought 1,000 shares of ARM. They also had a good 
earnings call at the beginning of the week. They own Coinbase, which you know Bitcoin is just going crazy. And Coinbase uh, is uh, uh, going along on that Bitcoin ride. And it's also a very volatile stock. And they bought 700 shares of that. And again, they're currently um, working the covered calls already. So on day one, the stock is four hours old and they're already in there, <laughs> you know, trying to make a profit on these option calls. And, you know, this is an interesting one. DWAC is uh, Truth Social and we're, in, you know, we're in the middle of an election year and then this stock has been very volatile. And uh, to continue on, we have Mara, which is a Bitcoin mining stock, also extremely volatile and, it, you know, it is way up because of the Bitcoin craziness. But this was the main reason that I decided to pull the trigger because MicroStrategy Inc. was the uh, stock that MSTY um, tracks and they bought 100 shares of this and they bought shares at $962. Well, uh, MSTR or the MicroStrategy, they have been well over $1,000 per share. So this seemed like a good opportunity to finally... Uh, get in on this stock, uh, but basically, um, I'm allowing Yieldmax to take my money and gamble and see if they can't bring home a return. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, just to finish up on the ones that I highlighted, SMCI, uh, I believe they have some kind of partnership with NVIDIA, um, or they're just benefiting from uh, NVIDIA's um, AI boom, and the, and the craziness surrounded with NVIDIA stock. And finally, VKTX, Viking Therapeutics, they make that uh, weight loss drug. I think it's called Wagobi. And basically, they can't make enough of this stuff. You know, these the weight loss drugs is another craze, you know, maybe not as big as Bitcoin, but they can't make enough of this stuff and the stock is doing really well. So it was these holdings that made me abandon Warren Buffett's, uh, you know, sound advice of being patient, right? But I said, let's go for it and see what happens. I went ahead and I bought 55 shares and I hope that you'll go ahead and subscribe and I'll keep you updated on how this position works out. So thank you for watching the video and go ahead and watch my previous video about Coney to learn more about the Yield Max family of stocks and how they work. Thanks again.